welcome back to another video of mine and today right in front of us here we have finally completed the Akatsuki Owashi and Shiranoi pack for this Gao Gao model so as always right in front of here we will do a 360 rotation as of now this uh, mobile suit is equipped with the Shiranoi backpack which I think it's the best looking compared to the Owashi backpack but yeah we, t we do a 360 uh, rotation on this first because yeah because it's already equipped so just do a quick one hopefully you guys can see so um upon review upon building this kit uh, i've encountered several problems but it's not to say very big it, it can be done um due to some gaps in the kit so on and so forth but i will again address the issue so yeah just again 360 here just a quick one overall the goal it's not to say uh, very appealing but yeah i mean what you expect this is from Kao Kao. and one more thing i want to say that um if your hand is the type that gets um sweaty over time like holding stuff for too long and then your palms will get sweaty um this um gold plated coated uh will attract your your thing your what you call that your fingerprint on it so yeah just um be careful on that if you are planning to get this so yep i will remove the kit from this stand from this um stand came together from the Kao Kao one and then we'll take a look every the basic articulation on it without its backpack so on and so forth so now we're just back on its basic artic i mean his basic form without the backpack and so on and obviously you can see the design it's very well based on the strike frame i would say although it is oh it says that um this is basically sort of like a scratch built by the op association in the seed destiny universe so yeah it's a bit slanting it's, it's when you put it on flat ground like that it looks a bit weird i'm not sure why but the height looks a bit distortion it looks to be slanting a bit to the right but once you put on the stand um, it looks completely fine so yeah now we just start off with some details first so guys i will just show you guys first the head um you guys can see the head this sticker get, um it might looks like that it's actually like a uh, glittering um purple or green or whatever color I, as i mentioned I, i'm a little bit color blind but yeah it's actually not the sticker is actually pretty bad but thankfully once you equip onto the face here it looks all right all rightish but yeah then now here you can just see the body here there is a gap here um, I did my best to try to close it but um, you can't close it but if you're putting up in front here it's not really that obvious so yeah I guess you can pass that then the body here as as because this is a non grid you can't open the cockpit over here let me just focus again yeah I can't open the cockpit so yeah it just looks like that basic and then next here you guys can see is the side skirt here looks all right you can equip the beam save you can equip the beam saber and the beam rifle but um, i will talk about the beam saber later on and then here's the legs looks awesome like that so yeah and then now let's take a look at the back here again everything looks very good from the back the back have not much issue for me so yep now let's put it back to the front and we'll begin to talk about its articulation so of course we'll begin with the head um, the head I guess you guys can really see it's uh, really loose it's not it's not the part inside there is actually the head let me just open it out the part inside here let me just use the tweezer 
the part inside this here is very loose when I when I put inside the head here I thought it was okay but eventually I was wrong and yeah you guys if you guys gonna do it you guys should put apply some glue in it I lazy took it out so I just leave it as it is but nonetheless it, it's still able to hold it in it's just that it is a little bit shaky so yeah refocus for you guys so yeah I mean it's just a little bit um, shaky I would say but yeah it still gets the job done now let's just do it can rotate 360 like so but your head movement is really limited because the back is stuck together this is the maximum you can look up as you guys can see so yeah nothing nothing much the head really not to say very disappointed but yeah it's just like that now let's take a look at the arms here the arms here there is a movement it can move all the way up like that his maximum movement and then I can show you guys it can actually move forward can you guys see here yeah you guys can see there's a little bit of extra articulation sort of but yeah then yep here just like that you guys can move up maximum like that and then towards the side it's only a 90 degrees as you guys can see so yeah nothing not much actually just maybe not 90 degree but uh, just a little bit bent up a little bit maybe this is 85 degrees huh, not sure and then the hand here you can this is a prefix hand so I actually want to show you guys the beam rifle on its own but because you have to remove this hand here and it's pretty tight so yeah and by the way the beam rifle you can attach to here but as I mentioned I need to take it out take it in and out for this fixed hand I'm afraid that it will be a little loose later on so yeah just you can see the beam rifle is just like um, just like any other beam rifle I would say so yeah that's it and then the shield since I'm already talking about the weapon I might as well do it as well you guys can see there is like a gap here small gap here small gap dead inside and then here you guys can see the mount here at the inside once you just clip it in yeah it's very secure so yeah job well done to Kao Kao on this part and then next the body you can you can do a 360 rotation but as you guys can see it will come off so yeah I wouldn't recommend and then it can move just a little bit nothing much then the front skirt here it's independent to each other so yeah but then again you have to be careful on the side skirt as it will hit against each other so yep you guys can see here the front skirt can move up like that now move it down move it down and then the side skirt now you can move again it's an independent joint so yeah this is how far you can move and it's again very secure so yeah I don't need to worry about that however the back here as usual your non grade it is a fixed skirt here so yeah so that's it for almost the upper body now let's move on to the legs and then let's try you can obviously go up to 360 because your front skirt is movable since I already move up here and then now just push here you can go all the way down like that you do not have any articulation in front here this one straight piece so yeah is again I have to mention it's just a non grade and then here you can see the leg uh, anchor armor here so yeah just like that can move and then now let's see you can bend um it's not again it's almost same like the arm i would say maybe around um seven seventy degrees around there so yeah it's good that it's still able to perform such such articulation and then let's see how it works out towards outside you can't really bend out this is your maximum bend so that pretty sucks because 
somehow it's just hit on to this part here this long part in the middle here so yeah that's it and then the back here you have a small articulation okay, you can look out guess it see there is nothing inside there so yeah pretty uh pretty blunt so yeah that's it all the basic articulation have already been covered as again i said um looks pretty weird i'm not sure why on the legs it's like that so yeah let's just put this back now we'll of course move on to the backpacks so now right in front of us here we have the shiranui backpack first uh, this backpack took more effort because you have total of seven um, what I call this the dragon fangs I would say just like the strike freedom here is that there's one two three four five six seven of them so that took a little bit of time and yeah I will talk about the issue that I encountered anyway the basic articulation first on the side here you can move up like that as you can see and then it can move all the way down like so so yeah pretty good and then just move it back up here and yeah so now we we'll just move on I just talk about one part so it's easier for me as you guys can see here this beam thing um, you can see there is a gap so you guys will have to carefully send the pack properly but truth be told the actual the actual problem is actually this gray piece this gray piece that's sticking out this is the main problem but because um, I do not have my sandpaper or whatever to send it down so that's why it cannot fit in but then not all of it is have this problem only some okay maybe more than half there's only like one or two that do not have leave the gap so yeah you guys can see even when I tried properly, it's still yeah missing here. Sometimes it just push out too much, and sometimes it just doesn't fit. But again, um, we do not have the effect part for it to like sort of fly out for these beams. So yeah, until I get those, then maybe I will just leave it at this. And then here, let me just show you guys. You can see there is a gray piece inside here, and then this back here there is a red piece. Here you can see there is a red piece sticking out so all you need to do is just push it in like that I mean you guys can see it's not 100% fully inside over here but it still holds it rather secure however I can't say the same for the back here the back here you are being equipped with these two holes here and this this go and this go here um, it holds it does have sort of like a click, click feel. I you can't hear the click sound, of course. They can hear sort of like the click feel, but yeah. And then yeah, it falls off rather easily. And then there is another part you can see inside here. This part here is just full of gaps. Um, I do not know how I I to fix that. That's why, I, yeah, whatever I just leave it in. And then you have a uh, articulation here like so. But then if you move too much, the gap seems to open at the back here. So yeah, again, I uh, don't recommend you guys to do that. So yeah, that's it. Very basic articulation on this um, Shiranui backpack. No, this is yeah Shiranui backpack. So now just put it aside here. Now I will talk about the Oashi backpack, which is sort of like the L strike backpack. So yeah, here it is and stop. Okay, now this is much more basic. Um, it's just like yeah, I, I would say it's just like a customized ale strike. You can you got these two huge piece like that. The articulation like that. This part it's rather secure, so I'm glad that it is and then this part here of course you will move back like that the articulation and then you will hit the backpack here I mean towards the back of the uh, Akatsuki the mobile suit and then here you have the articulation this is a ball joint it's actually pretty hard so yeah I, I don't really want to move that much but yeah you guys can see here and then yeah it falls off as I want to show you guys 
Then, yeah, you guys can see, you can move in front like that. Or you can just station at the back. Again, this ball joint is really hard, so... And it was rather hard for me to fix it in with the beam thing at the side. So, yeah, that's it. It's nothing much, uh, really, this kit. It's really basic, but uh, the look makes it very cool looking. Let me just... Let me just push it down as I want to fix it and push, show you guys. So, now I will show you guys how to mount onto the stand that it comes with. So, yeah, I'll be right back. So, here you guys can see, um, this is the normal basic stand. I mean, very usual. And then this grey piece, you will need to pluck out from the H, um, H runner there in order for you to do that. Because at the back here, on this black part, let me just focus. There's this black part here that you will be putting into the grey part, you know, so that it will be 100% secured. So yeah, there you have it. Once you push it in, it's like super secure. Except maybe the body jingling here, not so secure. But yeah, the rest is super secure, so I'm very happy for it. And by the way, I won't be letting this kit down. I mean, not as in, I won't be letting this kit be on the flat ground. It will be staying on this post most of the time. So yeah, let's start off with the Owashi backpack. This is actually the first time that I will be mounting on in, with you guys. So yeah, let's go. Alright guys, finally, I've put it in. The mistake that I did was this part here. It is supposed to be in the Shiranoi backpack and it came off and I did not notice that. But yeah, now nonetheless, you guys can see already the now the Owashi backpack is put is equipped onto the Akatsuki. Now it's Akatsuki Owashi pack. Again, it looks awesome. Let me just um, reposition the legs. And of course the anchor armor. So yeah, again. Let me just do a quick 60, 360 rotation. Again, it looks exactly like the L strike, like I mentioned time and time again. And then, yeah, just have this extra beam here, and I can tell you it looks awesome. Let's try and do the articulation. You guys can see it can come up here very easily with no problem at all. So, yeah, see here. Yeah, looks good. Only problem is the head here, just disappointing. If we can make it look down, then yeah, it's it's awesome already. And then the parts went off. So yeah, this is the Owashi backpack. Next, I'll be showing you guys the um, mounting on the Shiranoi backpack. So yep. So now we'll be looking to fix the Shiranoi backpack. As I mentioned just now, this piece is the extra piece. So let me just um, fix it first. And here comes the Shiranoi backpack attachment um, in double O. The uh, Setsuna will be shouting, Oi! Docking mode! Docking mode! Dock that shit! And then, yeah, now dock. And here it is. It's so simple. Very easy. So now let's just do another quick 360 rotation. I mean, yeah, I mean, um, given the price for this kit that I got, which was like what, 56 ringgit. Yeah, I mean, it's really worth the price. I mean, I've been wanting to get a uh, Akatsuki kit for so long. I mean, the time when Bandai, before Bandai announced the re-release, and even they announced it, it cost me around 200 ringgit, um, which I really reluctant to pay. But yeah, thank God I came across um, this shop that was selling it at the cheap price. And yeah, um, I do not regret it at all. It is an awesome kit. So yeah, I mean, it is a non-grade given the fact that yeah, it is a non-grade. So there's really nothing much for me 
or anyone to complain if you're if you're going to pay the price it's almost like what um four times the price cheaper than the original one so yeah that's i guess um, that's it for today's video um i hope you guys have a really good day and and totally really enjoy this video i think my this review has been a little bit jumbled up here and there as i'm trying to come to my words i promise i will improve in my next video on reviewing the stuff i will plan properly first but again yeah i nonetheless i hope you guys still have a very good day and have enjoyed this video and if you guys really do have enjoyed this video please do not forget to drop a like down below and if you guys still haven't subscribed to me please do not forget to subscribe to me because there will be more this kind of video coming soon but uh, I promise you it will be a more improved and refined video in my following video probably in two to three weeks time because my next video that I will be reviewing is the top and strike freedom and I'm really looking forward to build that and I hope you guys too as well in, in me reviewing that kit. So yeah, until then, again, I um, hope you guys have a good day. And yeah, see you guys soon in another video of mine.